<clears throat> this is not what it looks like. This isn't a lesbian bar? No, it's a straight bar. It's ladies only night. <clears throat> I am meeting with some of my constituents. I am mayor to all the people. I can't believe this. What? Just because I was married to Alan Spaulding? Please, you were too. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that speech you made, that awful little speech about my daughter's paper, my two mommies. You made it sound like it was bad, like, like it was wrong. How could you do that? The same reason that you denied you were in a gay relationship when you stormed into my office. Look, people don't like to be different, okay? Trust me, I come from a small town. Nobody wants to be different. People are afraid of different. Do you really think I would have been elected mayor if people thought I was a lesbian? Absolutely not. My own daughter doesn't even know. So what's it going to take for you to keep this a secret? What do you want, a tax break for the beacon? I can't believe how you lead your life. Like it's one big secret, like, like there's something to be ashamed of. And yet, your daughter wrote a paper called My Two Mommies, and you swore up and down that you were not a lesbian. And here you are, on ladies' night, hanging out. Are you a lesbian, Olivia? That's what I thought. So tell me, what's so honest about the way you live your life? at yourself tell me what do you see can you see your colors let them shine through hi is Frank still here no, he left already. Did you know that, um, were you expecting that, or...? Absolutely not. I told you, I, 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 I said we shouldn't, you know, we could... I don't we think he hurt you. Where did you go? Errands. Errands. I wanted to give you and Frank some time. So when's the big day? I couldn't give him an answer. I mean, what is wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. When a person is proposed to, they should know if the answer is yes or no. It's a big question. Is it really? How many times have you been married? I'm not a good example. No, I mean, I've loved one man my entire life. Gus. And the entire time he was gone, I never let one person be close to me. Not, not once. Because I had this image in my head of what love was supposed to be, and it was him. But now he's dead, and I'm still doing it. I am still fixated on this image, and I'm shutting everything else out. Look, just some things are just really hard to know. So what does God want from me? Am I, am I supposed to be alone for the rest of my life? No, I can't imagine that. Or maybe God has someone for me and it's just not who I expected. I just don't want to regret anything. It's funny, I was just talking about that, about regret and how... what it would be like to make decisions based on what someone else might think. Why am I so afraid? Because it's new and different. That's scary. And Frank um, proposed to me because he respects my religion. Frank. He said that he knows I'm old-fashioned and that we could have a long engagement because he doesn't want me to have to do anything, you know, without Rafe around and... and what kind of guy says that? Frank is a good guy. He's a great guy. He is everything I could ask for. You know, he fits perfectly into my life. And that's everything I need to make me happy, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Look, if, if Frank, if you think he is everything that you need, then maybe you should say yes. Really? All I want is for you to be happy. 